Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Now yesterday some news dropped for the crew too, and it's quite helpful. By the way, if I sound different, I've got a really sore throat, that's why there's not been a few videos for a few days, I wasn't going to upload today, but this news came out yesterday, so I might as well, so yeah, that's why my voice sounds a bit weird. Anyway, we have some great news about DLC for the crew too. It is all going to be free. I mean, who doesn't love free content, eh? I certainly do love it when free DLC does get added into games like Spin Tires Mud Runner. All that DLC is free. I love that game. So I'm just going to love the crew too even more now. And also, we do get two new vehicles every month. I don't know if that's with the season pass or without the season pass. I kind of think it's for the season pass, you know. Because then it gives them a reason to do a season pass and so on and so on. But... Oh well, we'll just see if those vehicles are any good, because two vehicles a month, that's quite good that. Now with the DLC stroke, the expansions, I'm just going to call it DLC, we will get them every three months. So we get the game released in June, and then in September we get the Gator DLC, so that's sometime in September, and we will get a hovercraft, and we will also get a new loot system. They're not DLCs, they're just called updates, so let's go with calling them updates. And then in winter 2018, and this will be December probably, we will get another update which we don't know a name for, but it adds PvP races. Something that's not going to be in the game from the start, I mean, PvP was really fun in the Crew 1, so... Like I've said, I've seen a few tweets on their Twitter replying to people that have asked why isn't it, like, they want to make it 100% working correct, and say if they released it within the game release, it wouldn't be ready. So it's going to be December because it says 2018, it doesn't say 2019 where then it could be like January, February, that's coming this year. And then for spring 2019, so just under a year away now talking, we will get the third update. There's no news for that and we don't know what's getting added, we don't know the name for it either. So that is all happening within like the game being a year old so we've got a lot to look forward to I mean we've got the entire game to look forward to then we've got all these updates to look forward to as well so really what we found out from this is there's going to be plenty of updates during the first year life cycle of the crew 2 now I reckon after we've had all these updates so after spring 2019 there'll be more updates to come because with the crew 1 that game was out for about 4 years and if the crew 2 is going to be out for a similar length then we're going to need more than almost a year's worth of updates to keep people on the game. I mean, I, I still played Crew 1 and had it about three years, but some people just play the game with the updates, but honestly, the Crew 2, it's going to be such a good game, I reckon. It's releasing June 29th, a few weeks away. Now, next week, we do have an open beta this time as well, because E3 has started and they did Crew 2 open beta, so... More chance to play the crew too, I guess. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Like I said, my voice sounds weird today. Like, sore throat and that, like, ow. Leave a like on the video if you did find any of this information useful. I'll leave a link down below to the crew too website page. I was just reading some of that stuff up so you can have a little read for yourself. Subscribe if you are new around here. But until next time, guys, peace out. But I already know I'ma get it now, though. I'ma get it now, though. I'm not slowing down.